So I selected to close out of my table, and you notice I have a very blank screen right now. But if you notice, over here in my navigation pane, I actually have visits. That's the table we just built. So if I want to reopen my table, I can double click on it. And we get exactly that. Now we're going to do a little bit of typing. I'm not going to do terribly much, but as you can see, what we can go ahead and do is I'm going to say my first visit ID is 1550. Uh, and then as I keep going, yes, I'm going to keep looking at the answer. Uh, 22549. We're going to say that this visit actually, uh, we're going to go into the future, but we're going to go ahead and say that this visit happened uh, 12 slash 1 slash 2015. Now notice, this is a date time. This is a date time one, so that's going to allow me to use these slashes, and it's going to be perfectly fine. In fact, I haven't hit enter. I haven't hit tabbed just yet, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to just say 12, 1, 15. And then I'm going to hit tab. Notice what it did. It actually said 12 1 2015. It interpreted the fact that I'm dealing with a date. 12 in American Standard is our month. 1 as the second number in the American Standard is the day. And 15 in the American Standard is the uh, year. And more than likely, you're going to be dealing with 2015 than 1915 or 1815. Eh, okay, if you wanted to do 1815, you'd have to explicitly type it. It's not the end of the world. So we're going to go ahead and say, oh, well, you know, uh, this patient, uh, since they walked in, we're going to go ahead and say that they had uh, influenza. You know, it's uh, spring, so people get the flu. And again, we're going to say that they walked in, you know, it's the urgent care, they're allowed to do that. Now, to do that, all I would have to do is click on this checkbox. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and say I wanna move to my next record. Notice I've got this little star here. That's not a record, but if I click on it, it's the idea that, oh, you can create another record. So we're gonna go ahead and say, we're gonna jump a little bit. We're gonna do 1527 for this guy this record. Uh, we're going to go ahead and say that the patient ID for this is the 22522. We're going to go ahead and say because obviously the visit ID is lower than the first one, that means that the visit date happened a little bit before the first one. We're going to go ahead and say that this one happened 11-9. Actually, you know what? Notice we've got that little symbol right there. Notice that little symbol. Well, that's a calendar. And if I click on that calendar, notice what I get. It'll actually allow me to go and select the day I want to work with. And again, I'm going to just jump a few times into the future, and I'm going to select November 9th, 2015. And look at what it did. It went ahead and put it in there for me. Now we're going to go ahead and say, oh, well, you know, again, uh, 11. Uh, it, fall is around. Actually, yeah, fall's around. So uh, they had an allergic reaction. Now it did get cut off, that's not the end of the world, but we're going to go ahead and say that they uh, went ahead and they called ahead, they made a reservation. So we don't need to make the adjustment there. One of the things that we can continue to do with this is, uh, again, I have to uh, adjust this guy, I would maybe like to see it, and just like I did in Excel, all I have to do is kind of mouse over this, click, hold, and drag out.